Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Race Face Drive In Five podcast here on RaceFace.tv. As always, I'm your host, Jacob Seelman, and we are joined by a new face on the Drive In Five as we catch up now with new Race Face brand development driver, Matthew Laprad, who's a legend car racer currently. But, Matthew, uh, as we welcome you in here, I know. There's been stuff to get you to Legends Cars, so why don't we have you introduce yourself to the fans, tell them a little bit about yourself and, and what you've done in racing to get to this point. I'm Matthew Lepre, I'm 12 years old. Um, mm. um, we've really been racing a lot recently mm. to get to where I'm at and develop driving skills personally. Car, we started in karting, moved up to a bando about a year and a half ago two years and then we done a half year of legends basically this year and now we're moving in a truck and doing a full year of legend cars next year okay so talk let's talk a little bit about the legends car first i know uh you mentioned this year's kind of been your first experience with that uh, going back to uh the the winter nationals early this year uh what what have you learned? What did you feel like you had to kind of adapt to when you got into the Legends car for the first time? I mean, yeah, I felt like I figured it out, but when I went to Charlotte, I figured it out it was a whole different ball game up there. You got to drive differently up there. Be more aggressive? Yeah, definitely. For you, um, I, you mentioned you started in karting. Did anything you learned in karting apply when you got into the legend car or did you basically have to kind of throw away all your mental notes and start over i mean it helped a little bit but i feel like it's a different aspect of racing the way you have to look at it and let's tell the fans uh what team you're currently racing for in legend cars uh racing for vip with jim smith all right and you mentioned as well stepping into a uh, got to step into a pro truck over the weekend um, right near home. Um, so Auburndale Speedway in Florida. And we'll tell people uh, you're from New Smyrna Beach, which there, there, there's another pretty well-known racetrack right near you, too. So um, talk a little bit about how the chance came together for you to drive the pro truck and what that experience was like, because I know it was your first time in a, in a full size race car. Uh, yeah, we got to test the truck uh, about two weeks ago, and we decided from that we wanted to try to race and go run it. And we ended up Friday picking up some time and running a four, which was we were third fastest out of the day. Come Saturday, we qualified 12th, and we ended up having a good race. And a lot of cautions went 25 laps straight green, ended up in seventh with after that 25 laps and then lap after lap just caution i was able to just pick off a few because of my restarts we came down for six laps to go last restart of the race and the leaders were in the wall together and everybody started checking up and i just kind of slid down through there four wide and just checked out in third so Let's talk about that because 12th to, th I mean, 12th to third in your first pro truck race is a big deal. And I know you haven't had maybe a ton of experience other than in the legend car, really having to work your way through the field in traffic like that. What was that like? Um, yeah, it's a different, it's weird because you have to understand like the width of the truck and how much space you have from you to the other truck. It's just, it was hard at the beginning, but I felt like I figured it out by the end of the race. Was was it kind of uh, kind of almost surreal in a way that you you get done with your first pro truck race and you're, and you're sitting there in third? I mean, I know you said coming in you would have been happy with the top ten, but I'm sure this probably way exceeded anything you uh, you were expecting. Yeah, I said in my interview on the track, I was like, I definitely didn't expect that. It was definitely like way past my goal. How, how are you? You know, as as any finish is going to be look well for you, and I'm sure pump you up a little bit. How do you feel confidence-wise? I know the, the three-hour practice you had Friday night really helped, but how do you feel confidence-wise after getting a full 50-lap race under your belt? I mean, yeah, I definitely feel more confidence going into the next race at Almerdale in a few weeks. I feel like I know I have a car to win, and I know that car is fast, and I feel like I understand the way of driving. 
you got to work um, the team you're driving for, Right Foot Down Motorsports. Uh, Daniel Webster, I know, is a really, really experienced driver in his own right who's kind of stepped into guiding young drivers like you now. Uh, what was it like being able to work with Daniel and kind of uh, learn from him, pick his brain a little bit? Oh, uh, yeah, Daniel is super nice. He definitely helped me a lot. He was my spotter for on Friday night and all of his crew are really nice. And my spotter, Phil, that spotted for me for the race, did a really good job. So, as you mentioned, you'll run the pro truck again in a couple weeks. I'm sure uh, feeling a whole lot better about it now. And you've got a legend car race next weekend at Cordell. Are you excited to get back in the legend car again? Uh, yeah, I feel like I'll be way better now going in the legend car from switching to a truck. I feel like it might even feel slow a little bit. There you go. It, it, it's one of those things where you never know what you're going to learn until you actually get out there and learn it, right? Yeah. All right, Matthew. So uh, before we finish this one up, I, I do want to uh, kind of give the fans one other little tidbit about you. Out So outside the race car, um, you're actually a pretty competitive, pretty avid golfer, I hear, uh, more here of late. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm going to school now. I'm part of a golf program. We golf every day for two nice. and a half hours. So school school team? Uh, Yeah. Nice, nice. That'll be a lot of fun for you, I'm sure. And mm -hmm. last uh, last but not least, of course, I want to make sure you have a chance to say thank you to any sponsors, people that help you out uh, from, from this past weekend and in general this season. Um, I want to thank the whole Right Foot Down Motorsports team and Wade Tractor. All right, Matthew. Well, we're glad you've had your debut here on Driving Five. Uh, we look forward to talking more about a lot of your races here in the next couple weeks, and we'll catch up with you again after that next Pro Truck race. Thank you. That's Matthew LaPrade. My name's Jacob Seelman, and this has been Race Face Drive-In 5. We'll see you next time here on RaceFace.tv, where you can come every day to check out the news from all around the world of motorsports.